We meet again, old friend. Oh, hey, Dan. Thanks so much for coming in. So you know what we're doing? Audio books, huge market in Canada. We're just going to get you to read some classics. All right. Let's put some glaze on that donut, baby. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, why don't we start with Frankenstein there on the stool? Ah. Just pick it up. Dan Hedberg, windowless talent. Yeah, no need to slate. Uh, you can just start reading. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, interesting. Huh. Dan! Ah! You know you're supposed to read out loud, right? It's called audio books. Oh, That's... well, that makes much more sense. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. I can't read this one out loud, though, because I find it too scary. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and pick up Moby Dick there. We'll, great. we'll start with that. All right, let's do this. Oh, little spelling error there. That's all right. I'll fix that. Pretty big book about a guy's penis, but hey, man, if I could write, I'd and probably do the it's same. It's Moby Dick. It's a famous book about a whale. Just... Well, that makes sense. I wish I knew that earlier. <clears throat> yeah. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, dash, never mind how long precisely, dash... Damn, why are you saying dash? Why are you reading dash out loud? There it's are not... dashes. No, just anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, the readers need to know those dashes. No, they <laughs> anyway, don't. You know what? This is a very thick book. I'm going to try and find something thinner. Save the voice. Oh, here we go. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow. Jumping over the moon. Damn, we're not reading good night, moon. That's not on the list. Besides, that book is meant to put babies to sleep, so it doesn't make for a very good... I'm, I'm, I quit. Hey, if you enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe for new videos every day right there, okay? And also, you really enjoyed, did you really? You liked it? You want to grab a coffee sometime? Maybe go hang, no? 